The commonest reason to have nerve conduction tests is to assess carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, there are plenty of patients who are worried about what these tests entail, and so this video is going to show you just how simple and uh, relatively painless, hopefully, uh, nerve conduction tests should be. So if I can just have your hand, this is Paolo, my colleague physiologist. What I'm going to be doing is putting a couple of stickers on your skin, if that's okay, Paolo. Mm -hmm. And what these do is that they pick up the nerve signals. And what I'm going to be doing is send a couple of signals across the nerve using small taps of electricity. Hopefully it shouldn't be too uncomfortable. If there's any problems, just let me know at any point. And here we go. So some taps coming up. Hope that was okay, was that all right? Fantastic. What you're going to feel now is a little bit different. I'm going to be making your thumb move upwards. It might feel a little bit sharper than previously, but that's not because of a change in the current per se. It's to do with the muscle having this small little cramp. Hope that was okay. Was that all right? more talking. Fantastic. feel a little bit sharper the further up we go because more muscles are being activated lower down but hopefully that was okay is that okay I can just get you to raise your elbow forward for me. If we were doing more formal studies of the ulnar nerve, we'd take it in a little bit more depth, but this is just for screening purposes. And uh, that's the end of the test. So hopefully you've seen it's a very quick test. Paolo, how was that for you? No pain at all. No pain at all. It can feel a bit uncomfortable, yeah. but... Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit, but nothing much to really worry about. And I hope if you are having these tests done, um, especially for carpal tunnel, that uh, you will find them uh, relatively painless and quick and simple. Thank you very much. If you found this video useful, please support this channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Many thanks for your support.